Okay, sixth grade lesson 100. Woo! Woo! Okay, now this one is on algebraic addition, and we're going to be using an integer um, scale. Okay, so what I want you to do, the first thing I want you to do is draw this on your paper. Draw a line, and I'm going to put a middle mark zero, and then I'm going to go to about let me see. Um, maybe 12. So I'm going to go to 12 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 12 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, I'm going to put ticks, which I just did, and then put, put in numbers. 1, 2, Three. And go on and fill out your chart just as I'm doing. Twelve positive on this side and then zero and then negative numbers on this side. Starting with negative one and going all the way to negative twelve on the other side. Okay. You got that done? Okay, and you should have negative in front of each of those numbers. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe okay. a little bunched up because you're you're yeah. getting such a small paper. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave this chart for just a minute and we're gonna go down here for just a second and I'm gonna draw a thermometer. You don't actually have to draw this on your paper. Okay? There's my thermometer. Okay? And it's filled up at the bottom. Now, it has a zero. Actually, the zero's up top. So about right here, five, ten. And then it goes negative five, negative ten, negative fifteen, negative twenty. You see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, um, a lot of times in different places when you're um, measuring the temperature, um, a lot of times if you're using Celsius, especially, Celsius, especially, you will go into the negative numbers. So, um, imagine that the temperature is zero degrees in Canada. So, therefore, we fill it all the way up and it shows that it's zero degree. And if I said it drops five degrees, what would it do? What would it be at? Um... Uh, negative five? Yep. If I tell you it drops five degrees, drops means it goes down five degrees. If I said it drops ten degrees, then obviously it would go down to ten, negative ten, right? Does that make sense in your brain how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's the same way with negative numbers, okay? And so, let me put an example. Let's do this real quick. Let's say that the degrees was negative five. So I'm going to draw my little chart right here real quick to right here. See that? They told me it was negative 5 degrees in Canada. And then I told you that it dropped negative 5 more degrees. So we're going to put plus it dropped another negative 5. Okay. So we drop another negative 5. What's it going to be? Negative 10. You're exactly right. So what do you see? is that you're going to add up these numbers, the 5 and the 5, see that, mm -hmm. to get 10, okay? And obviously, since we're working with negative numbers, it would make it negative 10. You see that? Now, let's go up to the chart above, and this will make even more sense, okay? So, for example, write this on your paper. Positive 8, I just put a plus 8 or a positive 8 plus a negative 5, okay? A positive 8 plus a negative 5. So what I want you to do is what that means is we start at the 0, and they're telling me to go positive 8. So what you're going to do is go to the right. Watch what I'm going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I'm going to hold my finger there. 
because I just went positive 8. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, plus a negative 5. And negatives mean you go to the left. Okay. Positives mean you go to the right. So I went to the right 8 spots. And now I'm going to go to the left 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And what do we land on? Can you see it? 3. So this answer is 3. Okay? It would almost be like if we were doing a thermometer, okay? If I said we went up 8 degrees, okay, 8, and then we went down 5 degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we would land at 3, positive 3, okay, because it didn't go under the 0. You understand that? Okay, so the rest of the time we're going to be working with this integer scale, and we're going to be doing adding and subtracting um, positive and negative numbers. Okay, so let me do another one and you try it on your own. Negative 5 plus a negative 3. Okay, you tell me what to do with my finger. Negative 5 plus negative 3. Uh-huh, tell me what to do. If you go back 5. Which way? Uh, negative. Okay, like left. left. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plus negative three, I think it would be six, seven, eight. Uh huh. So because it's negative, you're gonna keep, this means go to the left. Negatives do. So we're gonna go left three more. One, two, three. And what's my answer? Negative eight. Negative eight. Very good. You understand how we do that? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let's do another one. Negative six plus. Now a lot of times, if there's not a positive, that plus sign. You can just assume it means positive. Okay? So we have a negative 6 plus a positive 6. So help me out. I started 0. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do what six. first? I'm going to go what? It'd just be 0. Yes, it would. So I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then and positive 6 means I go to the right. 1, 2, two, 3, 4, 5, 6. And my answer is going to be 0. Good job figuring that out. Okay? Now, a few more and then you're done. All right? This is what they tell me. Find the opposite of each number. Okay? So what do you think the opposite of 3 is? Um, 6. Negative 3. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I get the opposite of positive 6 is? Yeah. Negative 6. The opposite of negative 7 is? Negative. I mean, positive 7. 7. Very good. You got it. Figured it out. Good job. Okay, so when I tell you to find the opposite of something, that's what I want you to do, okay? And so, <laughs> this is going to get a little confusing, okay? Okay. When you're working with algebraic, this is a big word, addition, okay? I want you to look at this problem. Negative 10 minus a negative 6. Now stay with me because this looks a little confusing. Because what I want to tell you is that when you're doing these integer stuff, negatives and positives, and you're adding in them and subtracting them, you are always wanting to get them in addition form. And right now, what is it in? Subtraction form. Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to think is this subtraction sign, uh -huh. I want you to pretend that it says the opposite of that positive six so what you're going to do is you remember how when we're doing um dividing and we change something to the right and then we make it multiplication uh -huh. remember when you're taking like three fourths um divided by um one half and then you take this and then you times it and then it changes the number to the right to this remember that rule yep it's kind of like that rule in that if you see a minus, you can't minus negative and positive numbers. You have to plus them. Yeah. And so if you make this into a plus, then the sign to the right changes to the opposite. So negative 6 will become positive 6. Very good. So I'm just going to put a plus or a plus sign, which is a positive. Okay. Or you can just erase it. Yeah. Okay. And so now let's look at the problem. 
negative 10 plus, which is what we wanted to say, plus 6. It'd be negative 4, right? You're exactly right. So let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've done that. Now I'm going to go plus a positive 6, which means positive, you go to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And what do you see our answer is? Negative 4. Excellent job. You feel like you got that? Mm -hmm. All right, one more on your own, and we're done. Okay? Now, sometimes they're going to give you parentheses. Okay. And there, that is only to show you that this negative 3 is by itself. Okay. Okay, there's not a problem within it. Yeah, okay. Okay? And it says negative 3 minus, and then they've got a positive 5 in a bracket. Okay? Because there's not a problem inside it, it means that you don't have to answer it. Okay? But what do I have to do? Uh, you have to... There's a problem with that right there. Yeah. It has to say what? Plus. Plus. Okay? And when I change that to a plus, what happens to this? The opposite. It changes to its negative. opposite. Which becomes? Negative. Negative 5. Now, let's do this problem. Did you figure it out already? No. But okay, well, let's do it together then. So I'm going to start at zero and do what? It goes to three. Which way? Uh, left. One, two, three. Negative three. Good. And then you go five more. Back. Okay. Good five job because it's negative still. So one, two, three, four, five. Negative What's my answer? Negative eight. There you go. That is lesson 100.